What's going on bowling fans? Welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we are talking about the C4 Ordnance and the new Zen from 900 Global. Tariq Joyner is back in the saddle, taking us on a striking adventure. 900 Global, Tariq bringing the thunder. Is that good? I don't know. Yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. Let's talk about some layouts. I'll show this right now, maybe I'll just do a little fast forward kind of thing through it. Maybe most of you know how to get your access point or your pro shop operator already has your access point on file. For those that do not know to do it, if you wanna buy this here Armadillo access point finder, you can uh, find these everywhere online. They're a little expensive for a piece of plastic, but they're definitely helpful. There is another way to actually do it if you were to just draw your entire track on your ball, turn your ball over on its side and try to get that track horizontal and and then you would measure the distance, find the center, then you take a piece of tape, you put it on that spot you found, you throw your ball until the tape is stable in the first 15 to 20 feet of the lane, depending on the flare potential of the bowling ball, and there's your PAP, public service announcement. Pretty good, right? We've got Tariq's initial track right here. Not only is this a ball review, but it's a learning video as well. Line up the ring, you mark your spot. Here, you have PAP right, I don't know if you see that on the camera. Bing! Take a good old Prosec. Grip center line, and then you take the uh, average distance between your two fingers for your span, and Tariq covers right around two and a sixteenth, two and an eighth. Mark your center, come over, you draw a 90 degree, back over to the X, you line up that, and then you draw your VAL, your vertical axis line, that's where your axis point lives on your bowling ball. And Tariq is a half up, five and a quarter over. So PAP, five, quarter, over, half, up, there you go. Everyone that watched our last video talking about symmetric bowling balls and the front angles, the whole purpose behind that is on a symmetric bowling ball, as soon as you drill the thumb hole, the thumb hole becomes the PSA, becomes your preferred spin axis on your bowling ball. As soon as you drill into a core, that core becomes asymmetric. Regardless of the shape it started in, as soon as that thumb hole is in it, that thing is asymmetric now and your thumb hole being the largest mass or lack thereof mass in your ball, that makes it the preferred spin axis. All my front angle fans, the C4, the front angle is 65. The pin to PAP distance, which is the most important or one of the most important factors for a symmetric bowling ball is, should be about five inches, five inches. And then your VAL angle, is 70. So overall, with a five inch pin and a 70 degree VAL angle, this ball should be a little bit smoother, uh, not like tame, but it should be smoother transitioning from the wet to the dry part of the lane. And then we've got the all new Zen here. And Tariq has already shot 300 with this thing because he's a beast. Also, this being a symmetric ball, front angle fans, FFA, FAF. Not FFA, what am I talking about? So we've got a five and a half inch pin from PAP, keeping the flare band tight, a 30 degree back angle, which means that this ball is gonna wanna turn off the friction harder than a, a longer or wider back angle. Not really longer, wider back angle. And then if anyone else wants to know, front angle is 45. The complete layout for this ball would be a 45 by five and a half by 30. There you go, there's your layouts. So people kinda get an idea. Zen C4. Maybe you were watching this while he was bowling, so it doesn't get like too boring with me just yammering and talking. I don't know. What's going on YouTube? I'm sure either you're watching me throw the ordinance in the Zen right now, or did watch or about to watch, so wherever that lays in. A couple things, I mean the ordinance C4, it's a hybrid cover, which you know, that's one of my favorites. That ball for me, I'm able to play a little straighter with. What I like about it is that if say my ordinance solid isn't quite turn the corner, that, that C4 gives me a bit more pop. Now when I make that transition and have to move in a little bit it can wiggle a little bit going down lane but overall really really happy with, with uh, what global came out with that one
can I say about that ball? That ball is, is an 11 out of 10. So smooth down the lane, easy down the lane. Uh, I've bowled it in multiple house, playing either straight up or moving inside, and it has that really good mid lane pickup, so I'm never worried about it getting to the pocket. So even if I miss right, that ball still comes back with force. If I miss in, it pushes a little bit for me and still will you know, kick that 10 out. You know, we, we miss a little left, which we all do. But uh, overall, the products are amazing. I love them. Hopefully you guys will love them. If you haven't gone out to your pro shop yet, uh, you know, hit up your pro shop owner. Wherever you go, let them know, hey, give me that Ordnance C4, give me that Zen, wherever it fits up in your lineup, and you know, strike away. That's how it goes. Go global. Till next time, guys. content coming at you. Gracing the Callahan's Performance Channel is my good friend Jason Ray right over there. Me and this dude have known each other for over 20 years now and this is his first time coming in and throwing some shots with the Zen and the C4 and a big shout out to Bullwinkle's Pro Shop. Here you go. Bonus content, Jay Ray. This, this is, next yeah, the next season? Yeah, the next yeah. season is year three. It's awesome. Now I'm on Storm, which is like the greatest bowling company in the universe, which yeah. is honestly is pretty exciting. Hear that? And a bit of a dream come true. That's on camera. You just said that. That's Jason Ray right there. You're watching him throw the Zen right now. Jason's bowling on carbon. That is our test pattern. That's what we throw on because, I don't know, it's a house shot and that's what we throw on, so. Jay threw two different Zens for the video. Um, and thank you, by the way, for coming down and, and doing this. This is great. Thanks for having me. First Zen that you're seeing right now is 40 by four and a quarter by 30. So of the two, this is definitely the stronger one. The pin being a little bit closer to PAP creates a little bit more turbulence on the lane and some more flare and the ball has a little bit more pop as it gets off the pattern. The second Zen that he threw was a 50 by five and a half by 40. And the ordinance, which is after, obviously, after the Zens, is a 80 by four and a half by 40. So there's your layouts. Here is Mr. J Ray talking about his two Zens and his ordinance. What symmetric global ball can I think of that really has, especially the, the stronger layout, that's really gonna make that turn the way that ball, I can't think of a ball, I can't really, Nothing. honestly, I can't really yeah. think of anything. Like, that's like a, that motion is a first for me. With all the global balls, I, I don't think that I have seen a symmetric pearl with that much recovery ability. Yep. I'm, especially in this pattern, like there were a few of those shots where I threw it to the dead area out of Ooh. bounds and it was just, it may not have been, you know, a screamer, but it, but it got back. back to the pocket. And it really got back yeah. to the pocket. That's what Tariq said too. Tariq was like, this thing is probably the strongest symmetric ball he's thrown so far. The Zen is basically an aspect pearl, yeah. right? I, I, Using that same cover, that's the S77. The Meditate is a different core system than the uh, aspect was. Yes. Overall, if you've got if you have an aspect and you like that motion then you definitely want to grab a zen kind of complete the circle you have a ball that gets through the heads a little bit simpler a little more easy flowy flowy is getting through the heads flowy yeah. I don't know. So if your aspect is starting to hook a little bit early, then you want to go to your Zen and that's going to give you a little bit more distance and has a little bit more shape once it comes off the pattern. And then the ordinance. What do you think about that, buddy? Ordinance rolls a little early. It's got a good pop on the back, but this is a smooth, continuous ball. This is going to be a benchmark ball. This is what you're going to take out at the very beginning of your block. Now you may have to change to a Zen or something like that later. Open up your angles a little bit more. Open up yep. the angles, maybe get a little bit better motion through the pocket. I, I'm, I'm taking the, the ordinance out at the beginning of every nice. block. I'm gonna bring it up. You did say it kind of reminded you of the IQ a little bit. It's just a touch. A, a little bit. Like Jay just said, if you show up to a tournament or you show up to league, what's that? What's that ball that you just feel comfortable with that you can be confident how that ball shapes on the lane? That's gonna be ordinance. Yep, I'm taking that. That is the ball that's coming out of my bag. For real. And if I do get lost, I'm gonna take that ball out too because I can find my way home with Any little spice you wanna add on? Anything you gotta tell anyone? Well, These balls are already out. They came out, I think, last week. Yep, they're, somewhere around they're there. out. Yep. So, so you they're can current. head down to your local pro shop, Bullwinkles, Fred J's, yep. our uh, 
Cal 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 Hans Cal performance, performance bowling. bowling. <laughs> um, all your local pro shops have them. These are me great and this balls. dude have mad history, man. I drilled his first ball ever. I'm talking like two decades ago when you like you first started bowling. First ball that you did drill for me, it was a storm oh. blue thunder. Oh my God, you actually remember? It was a storm <laughs> blue thunder, and then that's after crazy. that it was a tomahawk. <laughs> So it's yes. crazy. And it was in the basement. Way back in the day. Before we oh, had man. an upstairs pro shop. Yeah, that's wild. I want to say that thank you. Awesome. Thank no, you for no. having me and thanks for shooting me. I appreciate Once it. Once again, I like to say this in a lot of my videos too. Bowling's a family, no matter what. So Jay works at Bullwinkles. Uh, big shout out to Rich Reynolds again. I've known Rich for a long time too. Bowling is such a family and we all know each other. We've grown up with each other. And I like doing this to show people that no matter what, man, it's all about unity. It's all about growing the sport, whatever. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we're all together we all love the sport it's insane that we love the sport because it's yeah. crazy sometimes but crazy. regardless though support all your local pro shops no matter no matter what happens we're all a family of bowlers and we love it that's all i gotta say i think that's it pound it thanks buddy thanks buddy okay roll credits i guess <laughs> roll tide roll tide big thanks to mr Tariq during <laughs> <laughs> this mask I can't talk. Big thanks to Tariq for coming down and throwing these two balls for us, man. It's always a pleasure to work with this fine gentleman over there. If it's your first time here, we are so close to 3,000 subscribers. Maybe we're there right now. I don't know. Possibly. Maybe you're watching this in a year from now. We're at like 100,000 subscribers. You never know. You gotta think positive and put it out into the world to make things change. That's what we're doing here. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Give us a like. That helps the YouTube algorithm get our video out in front of more curious bowling eyes. Curious bowling eyes. <laughs> I'm not sure if that really sounds that great. Anyways, you get the point. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss another online ball review from us here at Callahan's Performance Bowling. I'm Fred. That guy over there, well, he's not over here now. He's, he is actually over there. That's Tariq, and we will see you next time. There he is, right there. See? You want over there? No? Okay. All right. Stupid. <laughs> this right here is going at the end of the video after the credits.